you process your facial capture with MetaHuman Animator and you export it as an animation sequence and you want to combine this facial capture with another body animation and also this facial capture uh, contains the hat movements and if you apply it into your MetaHuman and you will realize that actually you are losing the hat movements which are coming from the facial performance so here in this video I will show you um, a quick way and how, how you can uh, combine these two animations uh, without losing the head movements. Okay, let's start. I will quickly uh, show the MetaHumans performance that we have. Uh, by the way, you can find the whole project from GitHub, which I shared in a different video while I'm processing uh, those facial captures. But uh, the idea here is how we can combine these head movements, which is coming from uh, the facial material performance to body that's the idea so after you export the animation that's uh, eventually you will have uh, I will just quickly go to selection eventually you will have this animation sequence which is using the facial uh, skeletal also contains the head movements but after you apply it into your metahuman you will lose this head movement so basically how we can actually contain this head movement while combining with the another body animation so i will just copy this which is the facial animation uh, sequence i will just move it i will just name it like underscore body not to uh, uh, just to differentiate them so basically i will just go right click and replace the skeleton for the body one so i will just select the metahuman base skeleton and i will click ok so why we are doing it because this animation sequence contains the head moment so uh, after we change the skeleton we can use this animation for body into in our metahuman and we can get uh, the head moments from that as well so that's the idea so uh, after you have this animation sequence for body actually let's go and get some kind of a body animation from mixamo which is free and you can retarget easily i don't know let's use this roomba dance i think let's download this one <laughs> i think not a very good uh, example but i think it will give you the idea and we get it so here i will just go to content and create a new folder which will be mixamo and i will basically drag and drop this guy and i will not do anything because it will also include uh, the <coughs> skeletal mesh and everything with the animation sequence so here we have this animation sequence here which is doing the rumba dancing so i will just right click and retarget animations into this one m met neural body which is coming from my metahuman which is the skeletal mesh which is being used for my metahuman so i will just retarget this animation into my metahuman animation and i will just select i will export animation so here in content let's create a new uh, folder like animation and i will just uh, put a prefix to just to differentiate so I will export, click export, and we have this one. So I can use this animation. I can use this animation into my MetaHuman now. I'll just save and close. Um, we can create a new a level sequence here because we will be uh, dealing, combining these two facial and body animations together. I will just name it new level sequence. You can name it whatever you want. So here I will go to content browser, my materials. I will add one guy over here. Actually, I will import one more because what what we are gonna do here, we will use one guy to get the hat um, movements and we will apply into do another metahuman and we can remove the other ones later on so here in sequence i will just let's say that the left one will be uh, the final one 
I will just add BP Kevin. And I will click the right guy. And I will also add this into my uh, sequence. And here we have two guys over here. Um, so let's go to BP Gavin and actually let's try quickly. I will just remove the control rigs for now because we have the animation sequence for them. Um, I will just click here and animation as you can see as Gavin Roomba dancing anim, which I created, which I retargeted. And if we open it, then our metahuman is doing this thing. So I will just expand it to the end of the sequence for now. So uh, let's quickly check because we have the face animation which we got from the facial capture performance. So I will just click, I will select this one. And as you can see, there is no head movement here because we want to get the head movement from there. Actually, let's go and quickly fix this uh, ending animation stuff. Let's put it over here and this one over here and we can also expand this room animation end of the sequence so here what we want to do we want to have the head movements from this facial capture so we will use this guy for it i will just close bp gavin and we will be working with bp gavin too i will just remove the control rigs for now again I will just select, but for body animation, I will select my movie shot body. So if I open it, actually, let's go to, to front. Just make sure that we are always in the, in the first uh, frame of the sequence. So if we, uh, if we play it, you will see that it has the uh, head movements, which are coming from uh, the face animation. And what I'm going to do, I will just bake this animation into MetaHuman Control Rig. So I will just click Create, then it will bake this animation into a MetaHuman Control Rig. Of course, the MetaHuman Control Rig doesn't have any uh, facial uh, stuff, so uh, we will lose that. But uh, no worries, because the only reason that we have this MetaHuman, just do we need to get the head movement from it. So here, I will just select... I think this approach is the the only uh, there are also other ways but I think this is the easiest way for now and it's confirmed officially by uh, from uh, Epic Games so I will show this approach uh, I will just click the neck one controller I will press control select one more neck two and select the head controller so I, I will click the small button over here just to uh, isolate only <coughs> uh, selected control rigs here so we can expand this head controller neck 01 controller and neck 02 controller so what we are going to do we need this rotation keyframes so i will just copy this keyframes just make sure you uh, in the first frame so uh, i will just select these three rotation roll pitch and yo for head controller i will just go down i need to get those one as well so i will just press shift and i will select roll pitch and yo i will go down and i will select next 02 controller again this uh, rotation keyframes so af after selecting these uh, total nine these three ones i will just control c just to i'm copying all of these uh, rotation keyframes and after that we can just click here show all tracks and I will just go to my MetaHuman on the left side, which will be uh, the final version. So we can close this Gavin too, and I will just open Gavin. So here we have this animation. So uh, I will also go and con bake this animation into MetaHuman Control Rig as well. So I can paste this MetaHuman Control Rig keyframes into this one. So uh, I don't need the animation anymore. So I will just remove the animation. We have this MetaHuman control rig. Just make sure you are in the first frame, the 0, 0, 0, because we will be pasting. So after you select the MetaHuman control rig here, just press Control V, and it will 
paste all the keyframes rotations which are coming from uh, the facial capture and <laughs> which is not very really nice he's very angry but dancing but see you have you have it that's the that's the idea and yeah if you want to have a different uh, stuff still you can uh, go for it for example you want to make some clearing or maybe some adjustment i will also quickly show so here in body i will bake this into an animation sequence i will go to animation uh, let's say uh, combined given i will click ok i'm just baking this body control rig to an animation sequence and after that we can actually remove this metahuman control rig for now and i will just open it and i will select combined cavern i'm always uh, forgetting this uh, things but you can adjust it and here this guy is very angry and dancing and see for example you want to adjust some head movements I will just click body and control rig. I will select layered and I will select metahuman control rig here. So if I want to do some adjustments over here, I can do, for example, I want to have this head a little bit down or maybe in some different angles initially. And I will just press enter to create a keyframe. And it will start in that way. Yeah, I think that's basically it. And if you want to do some cleaning and some other stuff, you can still do it from here. But that's the idea. And you can uh, remove the whole Gavin 2 and the whole skeletal mesh because we don't need it anymore. And also, if you want to do some other cleaning option in the face animation, still you can bake this. Uh, into face control board rig and or you can add a layered face control board rig if you want to do some eye adjustments and so on yeah i think that's basically it and see you in the next one guys